Hey everybody, so in this video, we are gonna be talking about all the sexy SVG patterns that we can use inside the new wallpaper stack. So you might be wondering, Joe, what's so special about tiled backgrounds? I can do that in the normal default one column stack, right? Well, wallpaper is a little bit special in that a, it has a ton of prepackaged patterns for you to already use. Now you might think, great, prepackaged patterns. Well, what if I don't like the patterns? What if they don't match my website? Well, what's, what's really special about these patterns is two things. First off, all these patterns are SVG files. Why is that important? Well, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. And what that means is it could be scaled up and down and lose zero resolution, right? It is crystal clear sharp, no matter what resolution you, it's displayed at. And that's important because in, in today's world, we have desktops that are non-retina displays. We have desktops that are retina displays. We have mobile devices that are two, three, four X retina displays, right? And to get a crystal, crystal sharp image sometimes can be really difficult or it can require a large image, right? And SVGs, again, they're scalable. So they're, the size is really small. That's another benefit, right? SVG sizes, they're really small. And in wallpaper, they're all embedded into the CSS and it, only the SVG that you're actually using gets loaded, right? So super, super small zero extra HTTP requests because it's embedded in the CSS, right? So huge benefits here. So great, we have really crisp, sharp, small images. What else? What, what else is cool about these? Well, because they're SVGs and SVGs are essentially kind of small little bits of code, right? Think of it as little components that we can actually style with CSS, right? And, you know, animate with, with JavaScript if you wanted to, but not in this case. Um, so what makes these tiles and patterns unique in wallpaper is that we can style them. So you have full control over the color of not only the background color, right? But you can control the actual pattern that gets laid on top of it. So you can really take these wallpapers and these patterns and customize them to the look and feel of your website. That makes this extra special. So without further ado, let's jump on in and look at some of the amazing things that we can do with the new patterns inside wallpaper. So in this video, we're only gonna be reviewing patterns, right? Um, we're only gonna be looking at the background settings. We have other uh, videos on gradients and all of the cool layout settings down here. So I might change a couple of these settings. I'm not gonna really dive into those. Um, but just so you know, there are other videos on the layouts and gradients within wallpaper. And right now we're going to dive into some patterns. Now to really play around, I'm just going to set the variable height to be 50% just so that I don't need to worry about putting content in the wallpaper. It will just be, you know, 50% height and, um, we can play around. So first off, we're going to just turn on patterns inside wallpaper. And this is the default pattern, a uh, hideout. And what you'll notice is there are a ton of patterns that we have, right? There are, I think, 85 patterns here. That's a lot, right? But you might think, Joe, how the heck do I know what, what all these patterns are? Like, how do I know which one I want, right? Now, when you installed wallpaper, hopefully you noticed that there are multiple different stacks that come with it. Now there's the main wallpaper stack, and then there's two other stacks. And what we're gonna look at right now is the patterns stack. So if we go ahead and drag patterns out here, this is basically like a little gallery of all the available patterns, okay? Really cool. So we can go ahead and peruse through this and find the exact pattern that we might want, okay? Um, now what's important is these patterns are only displayed in edit mode. Um, so if I preview this page right now, you'll see that I only see my wallpaper. I don't see the patterns at all, okay? So, and the, this pattern stack adds zero code to your published page at all. So you could leave it on there if you want. Most of the time I just find, you know, I peruse and find the one I want and then I delete the stack from the page, okay? 
Now, what's also cool about this pattern gradient thing is we can actually customize the colors here. So we can kind of preview what the patterns are, might look like, you know, on the finished product. That's interesting, right? Now, what's cool is we also have control of the opacity of the, um, the pattern. So if you see now it's at full opacity, right? But if you take it to 50% or, you know, a little bit less, you kind of get a nice blend between the background and the tile. You can even go more if you want a very subtle effect, right? So uh, you have a lot of control over this to make it really kind of in your face pattern versus kind of a more subtle, you know, pattern here. Um, you can also do scale. Let's uh, increase the opacity a little bit. You can scale up a little bit as well, right? So, you know, you can you know, scale these patterns up to make them a little bit larger, okay? So that's nice, right? Uh, there's scroll samples. You can also turn off scroll samples if you just want it to be one big, huge thing inside edit mode, okay? Um, so you see, this is nice. Um, and if you notice, it does give us the name here, right? Um, so you can kind of peruse through, style it the way you like, and find the pattern that you potentially might want to use, right? Okay, so that deals with the patterns and how to find the patterns that you potentially would want. So we're gonna go into the wallpaper stack now, and uh, I'm going to uh, use circuit board. Um, it's kind of one of my favorite stacks, or one of my favorite uh, patterns. I like circuit board, I think it looks cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preview this page just so kind of we can see uh, wallpaper in its full glory here. Um, and uh, so yeah, uh, now we go to circuit board, you know, I can change the opacity. Down here in colors, this is where you can change the background and the pattern color, okay? So if we wanted to, I can go ahead and choose like that. Oh, look, I like that right there. Boom, I, like, I think that looks snazzy, right? So we got a blue, uh, kind of a purplish, you know, uh, tile pattern. Uh, we can make it, you know, as, you know, transparent or as, you know, opaque as we want, right? Uh, we could scale this up just as we did you know, with the uh, patterns. Okay, so really, some really cool stuff here. Um, now next up, there's a vignette setting. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color um, a little, I'm gonna make it, let's go. Um, now the reason the reason I, I, did a, I wanted a lighter background was for this uh, vignette effect, just to make it more dramatic, right? Um, so if we increase the, the vignette, you'll notice that we get this very kind of, you know, this dark inner shadow effect. Um, and it's really cool. You know, it, it kind of gives you, it, you know, at certain points, it, it can kind of give you kind of a glowing effect in the middle, right? It's very interesting. Um, so the vignette, vignette, you can also control the color of that. So if we didn't want black, right? Let's say we wanted, you know, um, a, uh, a lighter blue vignette. Uh, as you see, that's a more subtle, but it gives us a very interesting effect where the outsides are slightly darker and it kind of fades into the middle, right? Um, so you can get some really great, amazing effects with this vignette uh, if you play around with it, right? So you see that, um, you know, it's the, the dark, as we saw the original color, which is kind of a black, it was very harsh, right? But now we have this very subtle, kind of a, almost a gradient effect, right? Um, across the wallpaper. So you can get some really amazing, you know, and I love how the center, if we add content there, it kind of draws your eye to the middle. Right. So if we had, you know, an icon and some and some text right here in the middle, let's go ahead and do that really quick. So there we go. I tweaked this a little bit while, uh, you know, I was playing around. And uh, as you see, I have some nice content in the middle. If you notice, I'm using that vignette and it kind of draws your eye into the middle, not only because that's where the content is, but that gradient from that vignette um, where the darker edges de definitely draws your eyes directly into the middle there. Right. So it's a very cool effect. Um, don't overdo it. Um, as you see, subtlety can be a great thing. Um, so yeah, but vignettes are an amazing thing. So you're probably thinking, well, Joe, all those gradients that ship with it are great, but like, what if I want something different? What if I want to use my own, right? How, how can I integrate that? Right? Well, you're in luck because wallpaper does support custom SVGs. And so let's dive in right now and have a look at that. So if we look at the settings, you'll notice that there is a custom CSS option for patterns. <clears throat> now, when you open that, you'll notice that there is a custom CSS box here. And you might think, Joe, I, I don't know how to use this stuff. Like that's just confusing to me. Like it's basically Greek, you know, might as well be Greek. So if you hover over the, and look at the tooltip here, I give you a couple websites that you can actually, um, you know, visit so it can kind of help you out. 
So, and one of these is called svgbackgrounds.com. So let's go ahead and look at that. <clears throat> so here we are in, on svgbackgrounds.com. And this isn't, isn't the only one. There are tons of websites like this, right? I just find SVG backgrounds nice. They have some really nice ones. Um, let's look at this particular one right here. This, this, uh, this kind of this gradient slash squares, right? It's kind of nice, right? Um, and what's cool is you, you actually can customize everything about this particular pattern right here on the website. So like if I go here and let's say I change that to be blue, wow, that's kind of trippy, right? Um, right. Wow. That's interesting. It's pretty cool. I like that. I actually, I did not test this beforehand. That's very interesting. Um, you can change the, um, the opacity of it. Uh, very interesting as well. I don't know what these, uh, all these other modes are kind of changes the colors a little bit. Interesting. Okay. And, um, so there we go. So now you can go ahead and, uh, copy this. So if you see, here's the CSS output, you just select that and copy it. Now let's go back to rapid weaver. So now that I'm back in rapid weaver, I can paste that custom CSS directly into, uh, the stack settings and voila, I have my custom pattern, uh, from SVG patterns directly inside wallpaper. Now, if you use a custom pattern, these color settings down here are basically mute. You can't use the color settings to customize the colors any longer, okay? Um, so that is a drawback. You, you can't use the settings, but SVG backgrounds, as you saw, you, can, you have full control over the colors over there anyway. So if you do use the custom patterns, you have to, you're kind of like on your own with generating all the colors and, and all that jazz. Um, so I think it's a fair trade-off. Now, while I'm in this video, I'm not gonna go over gradients, but I do wanna point out that you can mix and match patterns and gradients, right? So um, in this case, I can overlay a pattern on top of a gradient. So here I'm gonna pick a pattern. I'm gonna call it warm. I'm just gonna use the default warm flame. And uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, we can easily do that, right? So here, let's go ahead and just So it's really cool. You can intermix the gradients and the patterns together to really come up with a very unique feel. Um, and also in this effect, you can also add a vignette as well if you want, right? So you can add that vignette effect. Um, that color is a little harsh, but you know, I taught you earlier how you can, you know, make that look better. Now, the last thing we haven't reviewed is static versus fixed. Okay. So static is what you probably think of, right? Or let me add some more content to this page so that uh, we can kind of scroll so we can see the difference between what static and what fixed gives us. So here we have, I've added a bit more content just that when we preview this, we can scroll down the page a little bit. And I have this wallpaper stack set to the position static. And then if we scroll down, you'll notice that I have this, this wallpaper stack set to fixed, okay? Now, kind of, uh, so if we preview this page, we'll see that as I scroll down, this, the background here is static, right? It doesn't move, okay? But if we look at the one further down the page, what we'll notice is the background pattern is fixed. So we have a nice effect. Some people think this gives you a quasi parallax effect. Um, it could in some situations, um, but uh, it is a fixed background, right? So that, you know, as you scroll, the background is actually fixed to the, like fixed to the web, you know, the web browser. So it doesn't move. So that's the difference between um, background is static and fixed. So hope you see the power that these SVG patterns give us inside wallpaper, right? They're very flexible. They're very fast and, you know, they, they look great, right? Uh, they have a lot of flexibility. We can scale it up and down. We can scale it because they're SVG graphics and they never lose their resolution, right? So they're very, very cool things. Um, and again, I just touched base a little bit on the gradients and the layouts. Make sure that you check out those other videos uh, for wallpaper. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you love wallpaper. I can't wait to see what you build with it. Talk to you later. Bye.